In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the mechanical portion of the Simple Sumo Mini Sumo Robot. So let's get started. So first thing I've got is the uh, complete kit. I've got it all spread out here. But things that are not included in that kit that are handy to have include a tiny Phillips screwdriver, a tiny needle nose pliers, uh, some silicone glue of some sort, a hot glue would also work, and a 9 volt battery. So we put these aside. Okay, first thing we're going to do is grab the chassis part um, and a couple of push button switches. And four of the long uh, of the longer of the two of the wires. Let's just pull those off of there. Now I should note that in this video my parts are made of PLA plastic which is actually not what I recommend using. Uh, the kit will all kits that I sell will be made from ABS plastic which is a little more pliable in a couple of the areas uh, as you'll see when I assemble this thing. So we'll take one of these little buttons. Oops, its home is going to go in there, but order of operations matters. So I found that um, it's easiest to just peel apart these little wires. Colors don't matter. Um, I guess it is easier if they're different colors from each other. And I'll just put them in the hole on the back side. See these four holes? Jam them in there all the way as far as they'll go. Let's start with two at a time, just like that. And then I'll hold them there with my finger and then insert the button from this side, making sure that the little prongs don't get bent when I do that and they're going directly into the electrical uh, contact holes. Just push that in there. Great. And then I'll immediately take these two wires Make sure the lighting's good here, and push them through through that little fork. It can help to use a uh, tiny screwdriver to help jam it in. There. And what that does, we put them in there immediately. It helps hold them in, helps keep them from from wanting to pull back out on it if we were to yank on the wire. And then we do the same thing for the other side. Excellent. So let's do that one more time. <clears throat> Shove the wire in. Put your finger there to hold it. And then insert the, the button. Very good. Now, the best time to make sure, if you want to double check that you've got a good contact and is uh, now, while it's accessible, is if you want to get a multimeter out and probe your wires and press the button, uh, that would, uh, wouldn't hurt. But for now, I'm just going to tuck them, tuck them away. I'm sure it's fine. You know, it's just a little bit of a pinch in there to keep it when the wires to stay in. Perfect. Pinch. Great. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is set this aside for the moment and pull out our three edge sensors. Now they come, they arrive like this with their little wires oriented backwards, but we want to reorient them. So I'm going to take a couple of our wires. Oops, better use four. And push them onto the prongs to help support them as I bend them the way that I want them to, to face. Cool. So on two out of three of these edge sensors, I want the prongs just like that. So at a, say, a 45 degree angle from, from that thing. Great. 
And then the uh, third, I just want to be uh, 45 degrees the other way. So I guess maybe 135 degrees, you could say. So just, just up like that. Finish off the last one here. And we want to make sure none of the prongs are touching each other so the signal doesn't get messed up. There we go. Very good. So let's go back to the chassis that we're assembling parts to. Now the two with the prongs bent forward are going to go in the front. They're the front edge detectors. And the one with the prongs bent backwards goes back here. And has a nice little pin locator so it knows exactly where to go. And uh, now is a great time to apply a dab of glue in this box area here. And press it on. Okay, I went ahead and applied the glue to these three sensors off camera. And now they're sitting down there firmly. Next thing is to take the um, HR SO4 ultrasonic sensor and just press it in there. And you can press in, but I've got a little dab of glue on it just uh, for good measure. Yeah, presses in there nicely. Nice and even. Okay, the next thing we can do is install the. Uh, little uh, wheel motors FS90R continuous servos so in the package you get the, uh, the servo motor and you get this little thing with three screws in it and these little extra fittings we're going to make use of the screws in a way not intended and we don't need any of the, uh, the little plastic fittings so we'll set that aside pull up our little tiny screwdriver okay there's only one way looks like my little thing popped out and needed to live it give it more time to dry um, here we go there's only one way it can be put in, no wrong way. Just jam it in there. Now what we're going to do is these, of the three screws, two are long and one is short. And they, manu the manufacturer intends for these two to hold the servo in place and this thing to hold this little servo horn. But we're going to use them, uh, we're going to use these two to hold the servo down and this one to hold the wheel because it's more substantial for that purpose and this will get us by let's see just fine this will get us by and won't move anywhere anyway so we'll take our it helps a lot if this is magnetized and you put the longer of the two screws in this position because it's easier to access It's tiny. That is tiny. May not be magnetized enough. It's just enough to make you think it's going to hold on. There we go. Great. Now the little one the head is smaller and it will be able to barely fit in here and you can get a couple maybe uh, be a half turn out of it just enough there we go a little more than that a couple turns until the head seats down there 
there's not going to be a lot of force that's pushing this in anyway once the wheel is installed. So let's do the same exact thing on the opposite side. We'll save this third screw for now. Rip open the packages. Use my teeth. Shove everything over there that we don't need. Install the servo. Oh. Um, yeah, that's good. We'll screw it down. Nice and snug, but not over tight so you don't strip out the hole. Let's see, one more. 